Hey, Brianna. Yeah, I was able to catch up with KKOB and former city councilman Pat Davis to talk about what can be done to prevent crime and address crime concerns. Two weeks into the new year, the FBI raided the homes of several Albuquerque police officers and a local attorney. Since then, multiple DWI patrol agents were placed on leave. They then resigned. Later, hundreds of DWI cases dropped by District Attorney Sam Bregman. Dropping 150 DWI cases, dismissing them is like taking a gut punch. I mean, it made me sick to my stomach. I have to follow my ethics as a prosecutor and, and this I had no choice but to do this. Brandon Vo at KKOB like asking former city councilman out, Pat uh, Davis about transparency with the Albuquerque Police Department and how it has a bigger impact. APD is under this federal consent decree that we're almost done with yeah. um, for wow. really not being transparent with the public. According to our Partners for Impact survey, 47.9% of people think crime is the most important thing in our state. The public is going to see these things accumulate time mm -hmm. over time, yeah. and it's going to have an impact on recruiting. It's going to have an impact on people who are legitimately arrested and walk into court and say, mm -hmm. hey, why didn't I just give the cop a thousand bucks? Yeah. Uh, Vote in, outlining the impact for, for people like Bregman. He's running for, for DA again on his own after he was appointed. And then look at the mess that this DUI scandal has created for his office. And the concern for Albuquerque police having internal problems, bringing up more questions about public trust. A cop on the street who's responding to the domestic violence, the shoplifting, the, the DWI case. Mm -hmm. um, it's another place where APD's own are tarnishing the credibility of the cops trying to do the good job. Yeah. And it is really hard for us. Now, Brandon Vo and Pat Davis also talked to me about the homeless problem in our state and how it can relate to public safety. I'll have more on that conversation coming up at five. For now, reporting live in downtown Albuquerque, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News.